Hey Carew, this is a video, all of the footage which I shot today using the drone. It is uh, Saturday the 22nd of July and we have been at Monant now for an entire week and what you see here is the morning ritual which Sarah and I have every morning. And what happens usually is I get up early. I've been getting up between 5.30 and 6.30 and I go out and I walk around five miles and then come back and then Sarah and I go on a two mile walk. And at the end of our two mile walk, we walk down to this beach and we swim out to this raft. And from there, we dive off the back of the raft and swim to the buoy and then swim back to shore. And I know you would call this bobbing which is essentially what we're doing here. Um, but uh, it's actually, we really, really enjoy it. We've done it every day um, for the last week. Now, I didn't actually go for a five mile walk this morning um, because I went over to um, the cousin's house and watched the women's national team game against Vietnam last night. The US won three to nothing. Um, in case you, oh, spoiler, whatever. Um, so I didn't get home till after 11 and I was tired and I did wake up before 6.30, but I just, uh, uh, so I knew today Brent and Alex were leaving and um, I wanted to get a chance to hang out with them. And I thought we were gonna take Gwyneth to the beach and I thought it was gonna be earlier. So I didn't wanna uh, put that off. So yeah, I didn't, the short of it, long and short of it is I didn't go for a five mile walk this morning, just did the, the two miler with Sarah. And then we went down here and we, uh, we did this walk. Now, Gareth and Heidi and Gwyneth all arrived on Thursday evening. So we got to spend all day yesterday with them and it was just really wonderful. I got to play with Gwyneth a lot. Um, just had a really lovely time. We took her down to the to the baby beach, which you'll see a little footage of here um, in a bit, and um, and so we took her down to the baby beach both yesterday and today, um, and swam with her, which was fun, um, and we played games in the car, and uh, uh, she <laughs> she had a badminton racket, and she started calling it her sleep racket, and so I said, oh, if you hit me with it, I'll fall asleep, and so of course. She gently hit me with it and I would fall asleep and that was a really fun game. Anyway, it's kind of interesting here. I, I set up the drone before, uh, kind of flew it out here and had it hovering and you can see it's drifting a little bit from side to side. So I'm curious um, how much drift there will be. It'll, it'll drift back the other direction here in a minute. But anyway, uh, once again, having a great time with, uh, with Gwyneth and uh, Gareth and and um, Heidi have been great. We had a great time with Bryn and Alex. Just really, really a lot of fun hanging out with them. Uh, they all played cribbage. Taryn and Bryn and Alex and Gareth all played cribbage at various times um, over the last couple days and uh, just had fun together. Um, you know, we had a uh, party Thursday evening, a uh, big birthday party for um, Deborah and Sarah, and I guess we threw in Gwyneth and uh, and Gareth. Let's see, Gareth, Bryn, yeah, and Bryn. I don't know. There were six six birthdays that are clustered, kind of in. Uh, late June through early August and so we had one big birthday party and we invited the cars over which was fun so there were I don't know there were like 15 of us or 16 of us there uh, a lot of fun and um, then Deborah took John had to go back to work and interestingly his car has broken down so Deborah took him back um, yesterday, or yes, it was yesterday, and was going to, um, he he's li lives in Rhode Island now, 
and was going to they were going to buy a new car for him and they went to three different dealerships and they settled on a car they were going to buy they looked at and they'd gotten a price from the dealer and they went to lunch and decided they were going to go back and buy it and they go back to buy it and the dealer suddenly had increased the price three thousand dollars and they basically walked away and Teb decided that instead what she's going to do she's going to give John her old RAV4 which she has in Pendleton she's going to ship it across the country to him and then she's going to buy herself a new car so uh, um, but anyway that took all day Friday for her so we we were here with just the kids which was once again fun um, not not that it's any difference whether whether uh, Deb and John are here um, so yeah um, and Deb had agreed to play in there's a co-ed tennis tournament here kind of round robin thingy um, and she agreed to play with Uncle Pete um, as her doubles partner and um, but then she wasn't sure she was going to be back because this whole car thing came up as it turned out, she did get back late on Friday evening. So um, today, this morning, um, after Sarah and I walked down, as you see in this video, and, and did our swim, we then, um, you'll see here in a, in a few minutes, um, uh, there's still some time to go here on this swim, which is kind of boring, but hey, I don't care. You're the one watching. Um, we walk down the beach to the right on your screen and um, and around and uh, get, all the kids were down at the baby beach with Gwyneth. So um, we, uh, I, I guess none of the spouses, but the kids were. And, um, and so we walked down the beach around and then I flew the drone off of the jetty down there and took a couple little drone shots of um, of the kids swimming and Sarah was down there swimming with them as well by the time I got the drone up and going um, and then at the same time Deb and Pete were getting ready to play in the tennis tournament so I think there's some people in the background playing tennis I don't think Deb and Pete were playing at that time but anyway, they ended up, they were worried that they were just going to get killed because Pete is the oldest male, I think, playing in the tournament. And so, uh, but they ended up, I guess they played four other teams and they played four, four games each. And they lost 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, and then won the last one after a 2-2 tie and then won in the tie break. So Deb was actually pretty happy about that, as you imagine. You know, Deb is pretty competitive. But I think they also had a lot of fun. And we watched them play, um, I think we watched them play like eight games, two different, two diff against two different opponents. Um, so yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and here we are at the baby beach. And Gwyneth is on the little noodle there. And you can see Bryn and Gareth and Taryn in the... Uh, in the rash guard and Sarah with her back to us right there um, swimming with Gwyneth and Gwyneth was just an absolute joy you know she's three years old and she just is so much fun she's talking um, you know she's uh, creative and funny and just I don't know it's just been really really fun and you know I basically you know like we went and <laughs> went out in the shed where they have all these uh you know floaty toys and everything and she's just like pulling them out of a old tool a old container of some kind and looking at them all and and uh making you know just talking about them and it was super fun and then we went and got in the camper van and she pretended like she was driving the camper van and and then we did the uh, sleep racket thing. She had a little badminton racket. And, you know, just, you know, a couple hours, two or three hours of that. And then, you know, on and off throughout the day. And then when she got grumpy, <laughs> just give her back to Gareth. And then he fed her and helped her go to the potty. She's getting potty trained. So, uh, 
so yeah it was it was just um uh, i mean just a great week we've had here and uh gareth and heidi and gwyneth are supposed to come back tomorrow we'll see you know it depends on how heidi's feeling and and everything and then this evening actually i i was walking out to the van to actually um do this voiceover and i realized the sun was setting it was really gorgeous so i threw the drone up in the air real quick to try to get some footage of the sunset and i walked out and i got eaten alive by mosquitoes while i was shooting this but that's my my review of the week i know it's a bit rambling and may not be that interesting but it was just such a great week and i thought i would just make a video with all this footage to let you know how fun it's been um looking forward to the next week as well um i hope you're having a great time with your your folks and with or with your your dad and with uh duncan and clay and the kids um i guess that's my story and i'm sticking to it oh also at some point remind me to tell you about the swim over to martha's vineyard they did here um i'll do that in another video as i said that's my story i'm sticking to it i'll catch you later